Howdy from Texas, this is Heath Hipple with Bugs Fishing and we're gonna tie the clickbait minnow today. This is a minnow uh, bug we haven't put into production yet, but the design is done and I want y'all to be able to tie it. And so here we go. The hook is a Eagle Claw 413 in size one aught. So get that in there. As always, we're using Danville 210 denier thread. We're going to tie the, the ghost version, so this is white thread. And you're going to put thread wrap down on the entire hook shank. You always do that because it keeps materials in place. And you're going to come back here, and we're using 5 millimeter diamond fish eyes. And you're going to tie them in to where you have a little bit more room than normal. If you want to put a, that's a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch between the hook bend and the eye, because we have to we have to do a little bit more more than normal to finish the lure, and you'll see that in a few minutes. And so, several good thread wraps to secure those eyes. There we go. We are going to be using 25 pound mason to hold the beads. And we cut a piece about oh, three inches long. And see how it curves up this way? We're going to tie it on top of the hook shank, right behind the eyes. You're going to wrap it really well and bring it all the way back. Okay. Now, and we're, the weight on this is a Bugs 8th ounce belly weight. We're going to push it tight to the eyes. Actually, we're going to start a little bit back here. We're going to start on this second rib. Make a couple knots in the middle. This is going to make sure the weight stays in place. It's also going to lend some color to it. Okay, let's go to that last rib and let's do one half hitch. The flash on the sides is going to be lateral scale. It's a wide flash material that's kind of crimped. And so I took one piece and I cut it in half. And I'm going to take that half piece and I'm going to fold it in half. Okay. Fold it in half just like that. And I'm going to... You see how I'm kind of threading it onto the, putting it onto the thread like that? That keeps it in place and it's gonna give it, make it more durable. So it doesn't pull out. And I'm gonna put thread wraps right there. Then I'm gonna go to that second rib and I'm gonna do a little three turn whip finish. So this lure will definitely full, full speckled trout. And so I'm gonna take a little bit of precaution tying in that lateral scale and so those toothy fish don't tear it up as easily. All right. Same thing, we fold it in half. Come on now, there we go. Fold it in half, put it on the thread Start it at that last rib and then bring it to the second one. Three turn knot, and so that's not going anywhere. We're going to move the thread there and we're going to flip that in our vise. Now we're going to take four of the quick bait. Click bait beads. 
and we're going to thread them onto that 25 pound mason. These suckers are small. One. These beads are stainless steel. So very resistant to rust. Haven't had any rust yet. I won't say that they won't, but I haven't had any rust yet. And they provide a little click when you twitch this lure. That's why it's called a click bait minnow. All right, so we put four, four beads there. Then we're gonna bring this right here and we're gonna tie this off. We put a few thread wraps there and I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter. There we go. Okay, so it is, we're gonna line it up in the middle just like that. We're going to make some tight thread wraps and we're going to give it a good knot right there. Then I'm going to do some more wraps right here. One more knot. Point, I will cut the excess 25 pound mason. Okay, we're getting close here. And now the top is for this size, it's a zonker cut. And this is a new material from Hairline Dublin called bling strips. There's some kind of mylar tape that's glued to the hide side of the rabbit. It makes it a little bit stiffer and you get that nice reflective uh, reflective back there. And so you're going, you're gonna measure it and see where my thumb is right there. I'm gonna put a, a cut with an X-Acto knife in the back of that bling strip. And I'm gonna make it, I'm not just gonna pierce it, I'm gonna make it about a quarter of an inch long because I want it to, it's, you can't really see that, but, uh, I want it to sit evenly on top. Okay. Oh, come on, you turkey. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. Okay. So let's get all these hairs. There we go. So I'm pushing that all the way down. And I want it to sit, sit straight. There we go. Okay, so these bling strips are a little bit tricky when you're tying them in. They want them, they want to slip a little bit, definitely more than the standard rabbit strips, because that, that mylar back is kind of slippery. And so I'm giving it, taking a little bit more care and I'm doing a little bit more wraps than normal before I crank down on it. I'm gonna do two knots here. That's the first one. Okay, we're still in good shape. You just wanna make sure that it sits evenly right there. Okay, and so then I'm gonna, one more knot. Oops, that came off the end. There we go, let's start that over. Okay. Another whip finish, and we'll put some head cement on there. So that is the Clickbait minnow, really good glass minnow imitation. Get that uh, the lateral scale. And like I said, it'll click every time you twitch it. So that is the jig hook version. The straight shank version is tied exactly the same. And this 
For this version, I'm using Gamakatsu SP11-3L3H, same size, one aught. And so I'm not gonna go all the way through this, but I'm gonna show you just the first few steps. But like I said, everything is the same. Thread all the way. And so, and you'll stop about a quarter of an inch from the eye. And so, like I said, everything's the same. You do the 25 pound mason next, and then the you know, 25 pound mason on top, then the weight, and then the lateral scale, the beads, and then you finish it just the same. But that's that's how you start. And uh, anyway, I hope you'll give it a shot. It's a really good glass minnow imitation. It clicks when you twitch it. Everything eats it. And that is the clickbait minnow. Catch you later.